Okay, this is from Harvard professor Avi Loeb, and he said that this could be a spacecraft. It's Omao Mao is the asteroid, comet, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is grip skin. You see that little flaky spot right there? This right here is what's called an apical tuft. If you can look very carefully, you can actually see the little straps coming back from the apical tuft. This is a tendon. All right, it runs right down to the joint of the finger. This is a fingertip. Well, it's a complete finger, actually. It's ripped right off at the knuckle, right there. That's the whole thing, all the way back to here. These are the two spots where the tendon goes over the top. You got your vein and your artery right there. This strap is the tendon that pulls it down. That crease right there, that crease is this crease right here. And there's another one up in here for the very tip. And then you come down to the long end of the bone, right there where it was broken right off. That's umao umao. Now, this thing's gigantic. I'm not I'm sure of the measurements, we can look it up, but it's very, very large. The things in space are body parts, just a fact. I've shown this to anatomists, not one has said it wasn't, and one said that is a, a, absolutely 100% a finger. All right, just take a look at this. This is the tendon running down. It splits right here, and it splits into all these little anchors. Same thing here. All these little anchors, and then the big strap comes down, and that's what makes your finger be able to do all these things is this tenderness stuff. And then you got muscles and so forth are in here. Now, trust me, I looked at this extremely detailed, and that is a finger, just as I said. I, Like I said, I worked with anatomists for many, many years now, specifically about fascia and about muscles, basically, the things that I could find in my mud fossils. And that is, is a body part. All right, here's another one. I've been following this for over 10 years. It's Comet 67P. That's a hip joint. It's this right here. And it fractured right about here. All right, some of them fracture here, here, here. It doesn't matter. But it's, it looks to me like it's a hip joint. Now, what else can I determine about this? What is it giving off? What's the molecular signature? I can see that. Is it gassing off anywhere? Yes and it's gassing off out of the blood vessels. See, this is 10 years ago. That right there is the artery. Space smells like steak. Look it up. All the astronauts say they take their suit off after a spacewalk and it smells like a sirloin. That's the artery. That's a ton of blood in there. These are the little blood vessels to come around outside and go up to the muscle which would have been attached there so you can move this and do all those kind of things. That is a hip joint and that is the artery and these are the blood vessels. And the only reason they're shooting off in the directions they're shooting because that's where the tubes point. Straight up to go up. These go out to the side because the muscle went up this way. That gigantic jobber is the one that fed all of these. You have one main artery, and then you have a bunch of little tiny blood vessels, and that's exactly it. And the only reason they gas off like this is because they're literally being cooked. They have to get in exactly the correct position to the sun, and it irradiates it, and just like you put it in a, a radar range. <laughs> this is 67P, Kenneth and Juliet, the little molecules they test. It's 100% biology hydrocarbons, the different stages of iron oxidation because of blood. It's 100%. It's biology. And they say yes. It's all biological. They had no explanation for it. Now, these things are out in space. I can't touch those. Can I prove those things that I'm saying are really body parts? Yes, I can, because they went and grabbed some, brought it back to Earth. Let's look at that. All right, so I cannot go out and touch these things. They're out in space. I can see it. I can see the chemistry. I can see the anatomy. It is what it is. However, I cannot prove that. Can I prove the things I'm saying, though? Yes, I can. And how can I do that? Well, right there. 
And you say, well, what is this? I say, look at that picture, first of all. Look at these little blocky things. Look at this layer here with the white, and then the blocky things, another layer of the white, then the blocky things. This is called a phosphate surprise. They had no idea. They went out and picked this up off of asteroid Bennu, brought it back to Earth. This is what it is. Well, let's see what asteroid Bennu is, first of all. And can we determine by looking at that asteroid what it is? Because we can see Oumuamua is a figure. That's no question whatsoever. So let's see if we can understand what Bennu is and Psyche because they're both the same thing. All right, I'm just going to run through it. This is Bennu. That right there is a heart valve. That is a heart valve. And that is a heart valve. Boom. This is a heart. That's Bennu. They went and they grabbed a sample out of that, brought it back to Earth, and it is muscle. Here's the sample they brought back. These are sarcomeres. These are the phosphate layers of membranes. This is the bundle of fibers cut across this way. We can see the little sarcomeres. Those are sarcomeres. This is here on Earth. It's already been tested for, it's got DNA, RNA, uracil, all the, every single chemistry of, of muscle. It's muscle. It came out of heart muscle. It's just no question about it, zero. This is what heart muscle looks like. That's muscle. Each one of those is a sarcomere. They pull in like this. Now, on this asteroid, there they are right there. Those are the sarcomeres. They went and they went deep inside. They landed on here and they thought they were just going to hit the surface. Now, in addition to this, you see this black, yellow, and, or and red? That's the colors of blood. The black is the completely deoxygenated, the yellow is in the middle, and the red is oxygenated. This is identical to, to biology. It is, because it is biology. It is a heart. This was the point of impact. And when they hit it with nitrogen gas, all the blood you know, particles went away, and they went deep down inside, boom, grabbed a piece of muscle, brought it back, and we can see it here. It's exactly what you would expect for heart muscle. That's heart muscle. There's nobody can stand in the way of this. 100% of this is confirmed now. It's got the DNA, the RNA, the uracil, all the chemistry of biology it is a heart. And so is psyche. Psyche is even more precise looking. Here's psyche. Look at that. And there's tubes sticking out of this. Now, I, I got, I'm showing this is what the the valves look like here. And you say, well, why would this all pop right off there? It's due to iron banding. I'll show you that right now. This is what a heart looks like. You see the blue and the red? They're banded. They don't like each other. All of this plumbing pops off, and you see down into the valves. Because the red and the black, they just separate. It's called iron banding. Fully understood. I'm not making anything up here. It cracks right along. And I have actually talked to the autopsy people because I did dealt with them a lot. And they say during autopsies, when they do examinations, the hearts just fall apart. They just separate. And that's because of this polar opposition. Fully understood. So right here, this is a heart attack victim right here on Earth. These are the sarcomeres phosphate layers and they pull in and boom 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 that's how your heart pumps now they slide on these layers they have to be have these layers between them because it's you're contorting all the time those are the phosphate layers phospholipid layers and they found those and they had no idea what to make of them because it was a heart and they couldn't accept it was a heart here it is right here. It's, I mean, this is exactly what it is. There's the phosphate layers. There's the sarcomeres in between. And they got this chunk of muscle here on Earth. And every chemistry, DNA, RNA, all nine yards. And um, <laughs> it is what it is. These are what sarcomeres are.
There's whole batches of them in your body, straight and muscle. All the muscle is similar, but some is rope style, some is sort of flat. Um, and here's, here's Psyche up right here. This is Psyche. This is another heart. You see that? That's a tube coming out. This right here is a tube coming out. Those are the valves. All right, and again, it just pops right off. These are the three different colors, the red, the blue, the red, the yellow, and the black iron oxides. This is the tendon emplacement that holds the muscle. A heart is almost entirely muscle. And it's choo -choo, choo -choo, choo -choo. And it, it does that all day until the end of your days. So it's got to really work pretty good, and uh, most of them do. Um, but sometimes they end up in space. <laughs> now, why? I think I understand why. And I could talk about this in detail. But when you see a heart, that's a heart. So is that. These are here on Earth. We have gigantic creatures here on Earth absolutely refuse to be looked at by academia. They refuse. They're trying to protect their turf. Their turf is just pulled off from under their feet. That's a heart. And so is this. They were everywhere. This one here, I'm surprised it didn't pop off the valves. Now that's a lung right near it. And I have hearts, lungs, I have gigantic body parts, two inch wide hair follicle. Right here, there's where the muscle attaches. Here's the sebaceous gland. Here's the hair coming up to the top. There's the root. The hair papilla at the bottom, two inches wide. Now I have DNA tested CAT scan, fingertips and so forth. And then I have a giant one, three feet long, also DNA tested. So it's time to, to turn around and say, look, let's get some reality into our educational system. We, we've denied the truth of everything. And you want to see something really crazy? I showed you this right here. You see that? That's a heart attack victim. That's where it's ripped open. And that's, you see how black that is and black that is over there? That's a tear. Now, wait till you see this. The rest is the sarcomeres. Now, the red, dark stuff runs out because that's like a gooey, floppy stuff. And you end up with these little tiny, tiny, tiny strips of connective tissue. Watch that. That's a heart. And so is this. And it looks to me like it had a heart attack. That shouldn't be there. That right there is from a heart attack, as far as I'm concerned. All these are the the tissues, layers of tissue, which are the connective tissue. And it's ripped right here. You see that? That should not be ripped. That is a rip and a tear, and it filled in with vein blood. And vein blood hardens up. The red blood runs off. The vein blood filled in there and hardened up solid. And they're standing in the heart attack sarcomere. <laughs> I mean, if you can see it differently, tell me why. I just showed you what it looks like here. You see this one? Same thing. It's identical. And they're standing over in a tear. And you can see the black stuff going as it goes. Where that is, I'm not sure. Dykes and Sills intruding quartz Donegal, Ireland. I comment on these things all the time and you know that nobody pays any real attention because they I don't know what they think it is. They call them sills and dykes and so forth. Yikes. Okay, well my friend Mason's got some pretty serious equipment going on. He's been doing some fabulous research. And we've been communicating here for a couple of months now, and I'm hoping to get to see later today and talk to him about these things and try to understand exactly what he's seeing here. But we're talking about something coming through the solar system, and they don't really know what it is. They just see something, and they're basically making guesses. Now, what's going on here? I don't know. 
These are just pictures he sent to me, but I know he's taking pictures of not only the sun and the moon, but he's Jupiter, Saturn. He's showing the rings of Saturn. I mean, just fabulous stuff. Fabulous stuff. That looks like some kind of a solar flare. If it's the sun, I don't even know. I got to talk with my friend Mason. But he's got some serious, serious equipment here doing this extremely interesting work. Look at the, look at the difference. That's spewing stuff out from the, I don't know. Mason, we got some talking to do, brother. <laughs>